A leaf tracker is a tool which allows us to track every type of leaves and absences. With leaf tracker, we can track every type of leaves either paid or unpaid. Even we can track half days or no shows. In last video, we had seen one way. Today, we are going to see the other way. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a leaf tracker which I have already created in advance. Before this video, I had created part 1 of leaf tracker which is totally a different format. You can check that video on my channel. We have got total 4 tabs over here. First one is setting, second is mark leave, third is monthly summary and fourth one is summary. In setting sheet, we have got couple of things like leave type along with their codes, months, employee ID, employee name and their designation. And over here, we have got holidays list along with dates. In next workbook, we have got details like unique ID, employee ID, employee name along with their designation, date, day, leave type and holidays. In this workbook, we are going to mark all our leaves for the whole year. In case there will be any holidays, name of the holidays will pop up automatically. I'll show you how it works. I'll select employee ID over here. Over here, I'll insert the date manually and you will notice name of the holiday got pop up here. When we will select holiday from here, name of the holiday as well as H will get highlighted. I have created a table over here. In case you have got more entries, you will have to click just under date and you will have to type zero and you will have to click outside the table. Now you can delete this zero and can do your normal entries. You can select employee ID from here, insert the date and you can select your holidays or leaves from here. In next workbook, we have got monthly detail of all the leaves. Even the holidays will be counted on the top. When we will change the month, all the holidays will be counted automatically. I have highlighted Saturday and Sunday over here. In case you want to highlight some other day, you will have to select from drop down. If you want to highlight just one day, just select one day and delete the other. If you don't want to highlight any day, you can delete both the days from here and none of the days will be highlighted. These two days got automatically highlighted because on these two days we have got holidays. If I change the month, the highlights will get changed automatically. On the right hand side, we have got all the leaves. When the leaves will be marked in this sheet, all the leaves will automatically get featured over here. In the end, we have got summary sheet, which will be managed from start date to end date. In case you want to check total leave of January, you can insert 1st Jan and the end date 31st Jan. In case you want to check the leaves of Jan, Feb and March, you can insert start date as January and end date as March over here and all the leaves will be featured automatically. In case you want to check leaf for the whole year, you will have to change the date and all the leaves for the whole year will be featured. Let's start creating a new leaf tracker now. I'll insert three more workbooks over here and we'll rename it. Setting, Mark Leaf, Monthly Summary, Summary. We will come in our setting sheet, leaf type, codes. I'll type name of all the leaves over here. We will create borders for this. We will highlight this. Months, 1st Jan 23, 1st Feb 23. We will select both and will drag this till December. We will select all. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go in format cells. We'll go in custom. We'll delete this and we'll type M four times. M M M M dash Y Y Y Y. And we will do OK. We will take this in left side and we'll put borders. We'll highlight this. Over here, we will insert employee name along with their ID and designation. I'll take it from my example sheet and we'll paste over here. Over here, we will insert name of holidays along with dates. I'll take list of the holidays from my example sheet. I'll remove the grid lines. Now we will select the date of the holidays. We'll go in formulas. Over here, we will find the option of define name. We will click over here and we'll put the name as holidays. We will do OK. Now we will come in our next workbook, Mark Leaves, Unique ID. We are creating this unique ID only to connect all the workbooks through VLOOKUP and there's no other reason. Employee ID, Employee Name, Designation, Date, Day, Leave Type, Holidays. We will insert borders. We will take this in center and in mid. Now we will create table for this. We will select the whole data and we'll press Ctrl T. We'll click over here. My table has headers and we'll do OK. We will select some color from here. We will go in view 
and we'll remove the grid lines. We'll click inside the table, we'll go on the top in table and we'll remove filter buttons. Now we will create drop down for employee ID. We will go in data, data validation. We will select list from here. In source, we will click over here and we'll go to setting and we'll take employee ID or source from here. We will do OK and the drop down got created. We will drag this till end and all the drop down of employee ID got created. For employee name, we will be inserting a formula and that is plus or equal to if bracket open employee ID is equal to zero comma double inverted comma two times comma we look up comma we will select the employee id comma we will go in setting and will select this comma we will take two as the employee name is in column number two two comma zero we will close the bracket and we'll do enter so we have got employee name over here we will drag this till end for designation also, we will insert a formula of VLOOKUP plus or equal to if bracket open employee ID is equal to zero comma double inverted comma two times comma VLOOKUP comma we will select the employee ID comma we will go in setting sheet and will select this comma designation is in column three one two three so we will put three over here comma zero and we will close the bracket till it doesn't get black or white and we will do enter. So we got designation over here. As soon as we will change the employee ID, name and designation will change automatically. Date. We will be inserting date manually. I'll change the format, format cells, date and I'll select date from here. Okay. I'll take this in center and in mid. We will insert formula for day plus or equal to text bracket open. We will select the date comma double inverted comma d d d double inverted comma close bracket close and we will do enter. In case the date will be blank, it will be showing Saturday. So we will put the formula of if just behind the text if bracket open date is equal to zero comma double inverted comma two times comma and we will close the bracket till it doesn't get white or black. We will do enter and all the days got blank. We will insert a date over here. We will format all the cells, right click the mouse, format cells, date, okay. So all the cells got formatted properly. For leave type, we will create drop downs. We will click over here. We will go in data, data validation, list. We will be taking the source from our setting sheet. We will do OK and the drop down for lists got created. We will drag this till end. Now we will insert formula for holidays and our formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open. We will select the date, comma, we will be going in setting sheet and we will select dates and holiday comma name of the holidays are in column two. So we will be putting two over here comma zero bracket close and we will do enter. So we can see new year over here means name of the holiday is over here. But in rest of the cells, we can see NA means some error. So we will be inserting if error formula just behind we look up if error bracket open we will come in the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will do enter so now it got blank and we have got formulas in all the cells so we can see name of holidays over here in case there will be no holiday on this date the name of the holiday will vanish i'll change the date and we can see it got blank i'll undo this now we will click over here and we will highlight it we will go in home conditional formatting new rule classic and from here, we will select use a formula to determine which cells to format. We will take this in right side plus or equal to if this is equal to H, we will take H in double inverted comma and we'll delete dollar from center. We will click over here on custom format. We will go in fill. From here, we will select yellow color and in font, we will select red color. We will do OK and over here ok so whenever we will select the leave type as h it will become highlighted or it will get highlighted we will highlight h also we will click over here and we'll be going in conditional formatting highlight cell rules equal to and we will type h over here we will go in custom format 
font color we will take this as red fill we will select yellow color and we'll do okay okay so whenever it will be h over here both the cells will be highlighted i'll take cl over here and the highlight got vanished so whenever we will see name of holidays over here in h we have to select h so both the things will get highlighted now we will insert formula for unique id and our formula is plus or equal to employee id and date and we will do enter we can see some value over here so we will insert formula of if just behind this formula if bracket open employee id is equal to 0 comma double inverted comma twice comma and we will close the bracket in the end and we will do enter now it got blank whenever we will select employee id it will be featured over here one thing to remember over here if we will not create this unique id we will not be able to create this leave tracker properly now we will create our monthly summary we will start creating the format from 4 employee id employee name designation we will insert a date over here we will format the date right click the mouse format cells and we will select a date format from here okay we will take this in center and in mid we will click over here and we'll select rotate text down we will insert formula for day over here plus or equal to text bracket open we will select this comma double inverted comma d d d double inverted comma close bracket close and we will do enter now we will click over here anywhere on the top and we will be going to developer tab from here we will select combo box and we'll click over here we got our combo box we will resize this we will right click over here on the combo box we will be going to format control input range we will take this in right input range we will go in setting sheet and we'll select the months from jan to december cell link we will click anywhere over here and we'll do okay now whenever we will be selecting month from here we can find one if we will change the month to feb it will be showing two basically this is the sequence number now we will insert formula of index over here plus or equal to index bracket open we will go in setting sheet and we'll select from jan to december comma we have to provide row number over here we'll go in monthly summary and we'll select this we'll close the bracket and we'll do enter so we can see first feb over here so whenever we will change the month we will see the first date of the month over here. We will click here and we'll press plus or equal to and we'll select this and we'll do enter. So we got our first date. Now we will insert formula for second date and rest of the dates plus or equal to if bracket open this means first date we will insert dollar between D and 4 is smaller than EO month means end of the month bracket open we will select the first date once again we'll press function f4 comma zero bracket close comma first date plus one comma double inverted comma eom means end of the month double inverted comma close bracket close and we will do enter we will right click the mouse and we'll format cells date we will select this okay we will go in home and we'll select rotate text down now we will drag this till 31st we will select the whole sheet and we'll click anywhere so our cells got resized one of the cells where we have inserted the formula of index haven't got resized so we will select the first cell we will copy this we'll select the whole dates means from first till 31st we will right click the mouse paste special and from here we will select column width we will do ok so all the cells got resized properly we will drag the formula of days we'll go over here and we'll make this rotate text down we will come on the top where we have inserted formula of index and we'll make it white we will click on the combo box and we'll reposition it we will merge this and we'll type select month now whenever we will change the month from the drop down all the months and dates will be changed over here in the month of feb after 28th we can see eom means end of the month we are able to see eom over here because in the formula we have inserted eom 
in case we don't want eom we can remove eom and can leave double inverted comma over there and it will be blank we will merge this now we will select this and will insert borders i'll take employee id name and designation from our setting sheet i'll remove rest of the rows we'll go in view and we'll remove the grid lines i'll take this little bit down we will select all and will highlight eom we will be going in home conditional formatting new rule classic use a formula to determine which cells to format is equal to we will select the first date is equal to double inverted comma eom double inverted comma close we will remove the first dollar we will click on the drop down and we will be going to custom format we will go in fill and will select red color from here we will do okay okay and eom got highlighted when the month will change eom as well as the highlights will get vanished i'll do this jan now we will highlight our weekends i'll click over here and we'll create drop down for our weekdays data data validation i'll select list from here in the source we will type name of the days from monday to sunday we will do okay and will drag over here also the basic reason behind creating the drop down is to manage the highlights from here i'll select saturday and over here i'll select sunday now we will select the whole data we'll go in conditional formatting new rule classic use a formula to determine which cells to format and the formula is plus or equal to we will select the first day we will remove the first dollar from here is equal to we will click on the first drop down we will select the desired color so i'll keep it red and we'll do okay so all the saturdays got highlighted in the same way we will highlight our sundays also we will go in conditional formatting manage rules we will click over here duplicate rule over here the cell reference was b now we will do it c means second drop down is in c edit rule over here we will put c and we will do okay okay so our sundays also got highlighted in case you want to highlight only one day you can delete it from here in case you don't want to highlight any day you can delete both from here and none of the days will be highlighted you can highlight the desired days friday fridays are highlighted sundays sundays are also highlighted so i'll keep it saturday and sunday now we want our holidays to be here so i'll be inserting the formula for holidays and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open we will select the date is equal to double inverted comma twice comma 1 comma match bracket open we will select the date once again comma holidays comma 0 and we will close the bracket till it doesn't get black or white we will do enter and we can see one over here we will drag this till end we can see some error over here so before if we will be inserting formula of if error if error bracket open we will come in the end comma double inverted comma twice close the bracket and we will do enter now we will drag it once again and the error got vanished we have got total 3 holidays over here so in first holiday it's showing 1 in second holiday it's showing 2 and in third holiday it's showing 3 to remove any confusion we will select this we will right click the mouse we will go in format cells custom we will remove general we will insert double inverted comma h double inverted comma close we will give space and we'll type has we'll do okay so before 1 2 3 it got h1 h2 and h3 means holiday 1 holiday 2 and holiday 3 now we will highlight our holidays we will select this we'll go in conditional formatting highlight cell rule between 0 and 100 we'll click on the drop down and we'll go to custom format fill we will take yellow color and in font we will take red color we will do okay and okay over here we will also do one thing we will go in conditional formatting manage rules edit rule custom format we will go in border and we'll insert some border over here okay okay so borders got inserted we will reposition this once again now whenever the months will be changed holidays will also change i'll take february so holidays got changed if i'll do it march 
we are able to see holidays of March over here. We will resize the cell size. So I'll keep it Jan for now. We will highlight this. We will change the cell color and we'll also change the font color. We'll take in center and in mid. We'll make it bold. We will put some color over here. We'll put some color over here also. We will change the color of this. Now we will insert all the leaves and codes. We will go in setting. We will select leaf type along with their codes. Copy. We will come in monthly summary. We'll right click the mouse. Paste special values and we will click on transpose. Okay. We will take this in center and in mid. So all the leaves got inserted over here along with their codes. We will select this and we'll wrap the text. We will insert borders over here. We'll merge this. We'll put some color. We'll change the font color. Monthly leaves. We'll increase the font size. We will select the whole sheet and we'll change the font style. Now we will insert formula for our leaves plus or equal to count if bracket open. We will select dates means from first date till last date. We will insert dollar behind D and behind AH dollar comma. We will select the leave code and we'll insert dollar over here also between AI and five. We will close the bracket and we'll do enter. Now we can drag our formula. So all the formulas got inserted very properly. We will put some color over here. You can put any color of your choice. We will insert two more cells over here. Total leaves, total leaves without holidays. We will wrap the text. We will take this in center and in mid. We will insert borders and we'll put some color over here also. We will merge the cells till here. Total leaves, I'll put TL. Total holidays, I'll leave it blank. I'll put some color. Formula for total leaves will be plus sum bracket open. We will select from here till here bracket close and I'll do enter. We will drag this till end. We'll take this in center. Total leaves without holidays, it will be plus or equal to total leaves minus holidays. Enter. I'll drag this till end. We'll take this in center. So all the formulas got inserted. Now we will put our formulas over here so that this sheet gets connected with mark leaf sheet and we are going to use VLOOKUP. So our formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open. We will select employee ID. We will put dollar behind A and we will select date. We will put dollar just after D comma. We will be going to mark leaf. We will select from A to G. Our holidays are in G means seventh. We will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we will put seven over here, comma, zero, and we will close the bracket and we'll do enter. We will drag this. When we drag this, we see some error. To avoid this error, we will be using if error formula just behind VLOOKUP. If error bracket open, we will come in the end, comma, double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will do enter now we can drag this till end and till down whenever we will insert some leave in mark leave sheet it will be featured over here we will check it cl i'll put some more date over here we will come to monthly summary now but we are not able to see any leaves over here just because we haven't inserted these details so we will select details from here I'll drag this. We will have to insert dollar over here means behind A and G so that whenever we will drag the formula, cell reference will not get changed. Enter. Now we will drag this. Now we can see all the entries which were in mark leave sheet are getting featured. When we will change the month, all the Jan entries got vanished. We will do some entry of March and some other months also. To do any entry, you will have to select employee ID first. If you will be doing any entry without employee ID, the holidays will not be featured in monthly summary sheet. So we have done our entries and we can see three holidays over here. So we will have to select holidays means H from the list. The cells are not getting highlighted because conditional formatting was done only in the first cell. We will drag this, we'll copy this and we'll paste the formatting. Right click the mouse, paste special formatting and the leaves got highlighted. We will select H from here. 
we will select some other holidays over here now we will go in monthly summary and we'll check the leaves as per months feb we can see one leaf over here april we can see one more leaf over here or holiday over here now we will highlight our holidays also we will select this we'll go in conditional formatting new rule classic use a formula to determine which cells to format and our formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open holidays comma we will select the first date we will remove dollar from here bracket close and we will select green color we'll do okay and all the holidays got highlighted whenever we will change the month the columns of holidays will get highlighted automatically our monthly summary sheet is ready now now we will be creating our summary sheet or annual summary report we will copy this and we'll paste over here we'll remove the grid lines by going in view we will delete this we'll delete this also we will delete the days we'll delete the drop downs also we will do this total yearly leaves we will delete all the formulas we will type start date over here we will insert a box over here we will type end date we will insert one more box over here we'll put some color we will insert a date we'll format this format cells we'll go in date and we'll select this format okay we'll take this in center and in mid we will copy this and paste the format over here now we will change the date and we'll do it 31st of jan now we will insert the formulas over here and the formula will be plus or equal to count ifs bracket open we have to provide criteria range so we will be going in mark leave we will select the date we'll put dollar behind e comma double inverted comma greater than or equal to double inverted comma close and we will come in summary sheet and we'll select the first date we'll press function f4 and dollar will be inserted comma we will be going to mark leave we'll select the date once again we'll put dollar behind e comma double inverted comma smaller than or equal to double inverted comma close and we will be going to summary sheet we will select the last date we will press function f4 and dollar will be inserted comma we will be going to mark leave sheet we will select employee id and will insert dollar behind both the b comma summary sheet we will click over here on employee id we will insert dollar just behind a comma mark leave sheet we will select leave type will insert dollar behind both g comma will be coming to summary sheet and will click over here on leave code will insert dollar between d and 5 will close the bracket and will do enter so our formula got inserted over here we will drag this till end and till here we are able to see lots of zeros over here to avoid this zero we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule equal to zero we will be going to custom format font and we'll do font color as white okay okay so all the zeros got vanished and we are able to see only holidays these holidays are for jan in case we want to check holidays for whole year we will have to change the last date and we will have to do enter so all the holidays are featuring now we will have to change the formulas over here so total leaves it will be plus sum bracket open we will select from here till here close the bracket and we will do enter we will drag this total leaves without holidays plus total leaves minus holidays enter and we will drag this so our format is ready now i'll provide link of this format in my description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye